Okay, then let's talk about the money aspect. So how much can I earn teaching English in Korea? Um, so those are the typical salary uh, ranges, basically. We have to look at, you know, what kind of school it is. So it de always depends on the type of school and then also on your own uh, background and qualifications. So we start off with public schools. Public schools, you typically... Um, earn the least um it's in the bottom part but it's still not bad especially depending on what region you teach in and we can look at that a little bit more later because public schools is also the epic program so the epic program is a teaching program in korea that a lot of teachers um are going into and then they get placement in korea through um the government so um yeah Oh, and it's only in Korean won. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so 1.8 million won um, to 2.7 million won sounds like a lot, right? You'd be a millionaire in Korea. But um, yeah, 1.8 is probably about 1,800 US dollars. Um, let me just double check on my currency app. Um, so 1.8 million. 1.8 million is currently, oh, it's actually 1,600 US dollars. So starting at 1,600 up to 2.7 million, which is 2,425 US dollars currently. So that's what you'll be making in a public school. Then a little bit more, you can earn a little bit more in um, Hagwons or private language schools up to 3 million won. So that is currently 2,700 US dollars. Um, yeah. Then universities, you'll be making more if you um, manage to get a university job. Those requirements are usually a little bit higher. So they usually want people with a master's degree and preferably a master's degree in teaching or TESOL or English. Um, but it's definitely doable, especially in smaller cities. Um, there, the universities aren't that strict, and usually, um, if you, you know, you're in Korea for a while, and then you get to know people, you do a bit of networking, you could definitely get a university job, because they're always looking for teachers, and working for university in Korea is really, really nice, you have, like, very, very little teaching hours, you make a lot of money, you have a lot of free time, and you get, like, two or three months, um, paid vacation every season, every term, every semester. Um, so it's really, really nice. I recommend that. <laughs> and the highest paying um, school would be an international school. That's usually how it is everywhere in every country. They pay the highest, but they also have the strictest requirements. So international schools, they typically only hire uh, people with a teaching license from their country. So not only a TEFL or a TESOL, but an actual um, teaching license. So they, like you have to go through teacher's college and all those things. And um, so that can be a little bit challenging, but um, we know not impossible. Then also when you teach English in South Korea, you're not only getting your salary, but there's also some extra benefits such as paid housing. So most teachers, they get paid housing, either paid housing or a housing stipend. So you might get like a couple hundred dollars um, stipend or you can receive paid housing and then you live in a teacher's apartment. You also get health insurance and typically paid airfare and like year of contract bonuses. And there's also a pension scheme that you um, basically pay into. So the national pension scheme. And then when you leave Korea, you get all of this money back. So depending on how long you're staying, how long you're paying into this, this pension scheme, you get like a couple thousand back, a couple thousand dollars back when you leave. So this is a really, really good chunk of money um, that you can then use, you know, for when you're going to a different location or you're going back home as sort of like a starting, starting uh, capital. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. I have a question here. 
Chibi says, universities I've heard is extremely hard to break into. So like I said, it depends on, you know, where I imagine that Seoul, you know, is probably really hard. But if you're in a smaller city, you know, networking and you get to know people, maybe you took some, I was actually offered a university job at my, um, <laughs> A university job at my here in my city and it's a really good university it's a national university a lot of international students it's very prestigious and um because i just knew people you know and they were like hey um yeah you know we know you're a good teacher we know you're certified you've been here for a while would you like to work at our university and so yeah just depends on you know networking and yeah it's definitely not impossible i think they make it make it look harder than it is but i feel like you definitely need to be like in korea for a while at least like maybe two or three years to be able to um work at a university <laughs> thanks so much for watching we are ittt the leading provider for tefl and tsol training courses if you like this video please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.